Hello everyone. Welcome to Anjana Opik ASMR video. 오랜만에 뵙는 언제나 오픽의 ASMR 영상입니다. 제나의 오픽 ASMR 영상은요. 최신 기출 유형의 오픽 문제와 모범 답변을 들어보는 리스닝 시간입니다. 시험장에선 이렇게 속삭이시면 안 되겠지만요. 잠들기 전에 화면에 오픽 실전 문제와 또 답안을 보시면서 제나 쌤의 목소리를 들으시면서 편안하게 공부하며 잠드는 시간을 가져보세요. 설문 주제, 돌발 주제, 그리고 롤플레이까지 각각 한 세트씩 최신 기출 문제와 답변을 들려드릴게요. 들으시면서 화면으로 보시면서 마음에 드는 표현이나 문장이 있으면 여러분의 것으로 저장하시고 연습해보세요. 그럼 오늘 밤도 오픽 공부 화이팅! Have a good night! You indicated in the survey that you prefer to stay at home during your vacations. How do you spend your vacation at home? What do you usually do? Give me all the details. You indicated in the survey that you prefer to stay at home during your vacations. How do you spend your vacation at home? What do you usually do? Give me all the details. Okay, well, I love to stay home during vacations because I'm such a homebody. Actually, I generally prefer to stay home and rest on weekends too. So let me tell you about what I do when I spend my vacation alone at home. Basically, I get kind of lazy and I don't feel like doing anything when I'm home for vacations. This is because I'm typically busy with work and studies, so I feel pretty tired by the time my vacation starts. So, what I like to do during vacations includes listening to music and watching some good movies in bed or on the couch. Listening to my favorite music lying in bed is my favorite thing to do. Sometimes, I like to invite my friends or family for dinner. When we get together in my place, we usually eat a lot and talk. I normally get some food delivered for them or cook a special meal. Honestly though, I'm not a good cook, but cooking for my beloved family and friends makes me happy. Overall, for me, spending my vacations at home is a great way to relieve stress. Tell me about a memorable vacation you had at home. When was it and who were you with? What did you do? What made the vacation so special? Describe what you did in details. Tell me about a memorable vacation you had at home. When was it and who are you with? What did you do? What made the vacation so special? Describe what you did in details. A memorable vacation I spent at home? Well, I've spent a lot of my vacations at home, so it's kind of hard for me to choose one special event. Well, I guess I can tell you about a time when I spent Christmas with my best friend Jenny. It was two years ago on Christmas Eve. I invited my best friend Jenny to my home because we both had nothing to do on Christmas Eve. Yeah, we both didn't have a boyfriend back then, haha. <laughs> so we decided to celebrate Christmas together in my apartment. So I cooked pasta and prepared some wine and champagne. And Jenny baked really good Christmas cookies and cakes. Guess what? Everything was perfect. The food, the music, Christmas carols and everything was so nice. So we ate, drank and talked all night. It was so much fun to hang out with her because, you know, it was Merry Christmas. Now that I think about it, we didn't really do anything special. But I feel it was special because it was with my best friend. When was the last time you spent your vacation at home? What did you do? Tell me everything you did in details. When was the last time you spent your vacation at home? What did you do? Tell me everything you did in details. Okay, I guess I can tell you about my very recent vacation at home, which was last week. I stayed home for three days because I had a very bad cold. 
I got three days off from work because I was feeling terrible, especially my throat. Yeah, I had a really bad sore throat and a headache. So I wanted to rest and fully recover from it. So what I did at home was just eat and sleep. Oh, and I watched a lot of movies in bed too. I'm a big fan of Marvel series, so it was a good chance for me to watch my favorite Marvel movies again. And you know what? I was feeling so ill that I wasn't able to cook. I didn't feel like cooking. So for every meal, I had my favorite food delivered to my home. I ate really good sushi, pizza, Korean barbecue, etc. I feel like I've gained a few pounds, but I guess that's fine because I'm feeling a lot better this week. Tell me about recycling in your country. What kind of items do people recycle? Describe the recycling system in your country. Tell me about recycling in your country. What kind of items do people recycle? Describe the recycling system in your country. Oh, wow. The recycling system in my country? I have to say this is a very difficult topic. I mean, honestly, I have no idea about the recycling system in my country. This is something I haven't deeply thought about. Well, I mean, basically, recycling is absolutely mandatory in Korea. And I believe it's fairly well practiced everywhere in Korea. I feel like every building in Seoul has recycling facilities and most people are aware that recycling has to be done on a daily basis. Yeah, I guess that's all I can say about this question. Tell me about how you practice recycling at home. Do you recycle every day? Where do you take out the recycling to? Describe the ways you recycle. Tell me about how you practice recycling at home. Do you recycle every day? Where do you take out the recycling to? Describe the ways you recycle. Oh, this is another very hard one. So you're asking how I recycle at home. Well, could you give me a second to think about it? Honestly, I don't really do a lot of house chores because I live alone in a small apartment and I'm normally very busy that I don't spend a lot of time at home. So I'm saying I hardly recycle. You know, since I don't really cook or eat at home, there's not a lot of recycling to do. When it comes to how often I recycle, I generally take out the recycling every two weeks yeah, not so often. I gather the recyclable items like paper, glass, and plastic in the recycling basket. And I take them out when I need to. Well, I guess that's it. Tell me about a memorable experience you had while recycling. When was it and what happened? Tell me everything in details. Tell me about a memorable experience you had while recycling. When was it and what happened? Tell me everything in details. Well, as I said earlier, I hardly do the recycling at home. So I can't really think of any special experience I had while recycling. Seriously, I recycled several times since I started living alone but nothing memorable has happened while recycling. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I remember a time I talked to a neighbor while recycling. I don't think it's a special experience, but I still remember the day because I made a new friend. So one day, I was recycling by my apartment building, and a woman recycling next to me came to me and started talking to me. She was like, you live next door, right? Would you like to come over for a cup of coffee? What are you doing tomorrow? I couldn't say no. And I thought she was really nice and friendly. So I ended up visiting her home the next day. And you know what? She cooked lunch for me. 
She made a really good pasta, which was really nice of her. You know, she's like ten years older, but we've become good friends ever since then. We still hang out sometimes, and I'm happy I have a good neighbor next door. I'd like to give you a situation to act out. You are invited to your friend's party this weekend, but you don't have any information about the party. Call your friend and ask three or four questions about the party. I'd like to give you a situation to act out. You are invited to your friend's party this weekend, but you don't have any information about the party. Call your friend and ask three or four questions about the party. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Minsu. Hi, this is Jenna. How's it going? I'm good. I'm so excited about the party this weekend. Yes, thank you for inviting me. So I just wanted to get some information about the party. Yeah, I have a few questions. I was wondering, what time should I be there? I heard the party starts at six, but I wasn't sure if you would want me to come early and help you prepare for the party. Sure, I can. Okay, I'll be there by five thirty. Then how about the food? I know it's BYOB, so I'm planning to bring a bottle of red wine, but I can also bring some desserts like cookies, you know. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll bake some butter cookies. And one more thing: Can I park there? Is there a place to park for free? Yeah, I'm thinking of driving my car that night, and I wasn't sure where to park. Oh, perfect! Yeah, send me the address. Awesome. Thanks, Minsu. I can't wait for the party. So I'll see you on Saturday. Bye. There's a problem you need to resolve. You're going to be late for the party because you just had a car accident. Call your friend to explain the situation and suggest some alternatives to the problem. There's a problem you need to resolve. You're going to be late for the party because you just had a car accident. Call your friend to explain the situation and suggest some alternatives to the problem. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, this is Jenna. How are you? You're already at the party. Great. Well, actually, I've got some bad news. I was on my way to the party, but I just had a car accident. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can make it on time. You know, this might take a while. I had to call my insurance company, and they said they'll send a person here. So I'm not sure when everything will be taken care of. So I was thinking, why don't you guys start eating dinner? Yeah, don't wait for me. I don't know how long I have to wait until things are taken care of. Oh, I'm alright. I just feel bad if you guys have to wait for me. Oh yeah, luckily my car is fine and I'm fine too. Okay, I'll be there as soon as things are taken care of. So don't wait for me and start having dinner without me. All right, I'll call you on my way. Bye. Okay, this is the end of today's ASMR video. If you liked the video, please subscribe our channel and like the video. You know we can always come back. Have a good night. Goodbye. 여러분, 도움이 되셨다면 구독. 좋아요 꾹 눌러주세요. 여기 어플 클릭하시면 언제나 우픽을 모아서 싹볼수 있어요.